Hey guys, it's Cupid again. Um, I have schizophrenia. Uh, so today I wanted to do um, some news. I kind of found some pretty interesting articles and I thought it would be um, interesting to do some schizophrenia news. So things that are happening in the world today and not today, but recently um, as far as uh, schizophrenia goes. So these are just new... Um, new things that have come out and um, new research and things like that. So um, the first one is about experimental schizophrenia drug could reduce long neglected symptoms. Um, for the first time in decades, researchers have may have a new way to tweak brain signals to treat psychosis and other symptoms of schizophrenia. Results from a 245 person clinical trial hint that a compound called SCP-363856, which seems to act on neural receptors involved in the dopamine signaling, might address a broader range of schizophrenia symptoms than currently available drugs do, and with fewer side effects. So this was April 15th, 2020. Um, auditory hallucinations, a phenomenon in which people hear voices or other sounds in the absence of external... Um, Oh, yes. Sorry, this one um, is from, is a different article called Auditory Hallucinations Rooted in Ab Aberrant Brain Activity, Connectivity. Sorry. Um, this was June 30th, 2020. Auditory hallucinations, a phenomenon in which people hear voices or other sounds in the absence of external stimuli, are a feature of schizophrenia and some other neuropsies. Neuropsychiatric disorders. How they arise in the brain has been unclear, but new research indicates that altered brain connectivity between sensory and cognitive processing areas may be responsible. Um, our results demonstrate aberrant development of the thalam thalamic nuclei involved in sensory processing and an immature pattern of thalamocortical connectivity to the brain's auditory regions. Um, so, these are why they believe that uh, auditory hallucinations occur. Um, so, the next one um, was April 16th, 2020. Um, so, most research, research about the genetics of schizophrenia has sought to understand the role that genes play in the development and heritability of schizophrenia. Many discoveries have been made, but there have been many missing pieces. Now UNC School of Medicine scientists have conducted the largest ever whole genome sequencing study of schizophrenia to provide a more complete picture of the role the human genome plays in this disease. Our results suggest that ultra-rare structural variants that affect the boundaries of a specific genome structure increase risk for schizophrenia. Um, Alterations in these boundaries may lead to dysregulation of gene expression, and we think future me mechanistic studies could determine the pre precise functional effects these variants have on biology. Um, all right, and the next one is from May 8th, 2019. In a series of recently published studies using animals and people, John Hopkins Medicine re researchers say that they have further characterized a set of chemical imbalances in the brains of people with schizophrenia related to the chemical glut glutamate. Um, I know that if you guys have been watching my videos um, for a while, I'm going to pause real quick, um, that you may have um, seen that there are natural ways to treat schizophrenia um, that I found, and glutamate, since they find that um, people... Um, with schizophrenia have lower levels of glut glutamate, um, that that is a way to treat schizophrenia. So this article actually discusses how they found something else that can actually um, higher the level of glutamate in your body. So, um, And they figured out how to tweak the level using a compound derived from broccoli sprouts. They said the results advanced the hope that supplementing with broccoli sprout extract which contains high levels of chemical sulforaphane, sulforaphane uh, may someday provide a way to lower the doses of traditional antipsychotic medicines 
needed to manage schizophrenia symptoms, thus reducing unwanted side effects of the medicines. It's possible that future studies could show sulf sulforane to be a safe supplement to give people at risk of developing schizophrenia as a way to prevent, delay, or blunt the onset of symptoms. That would be a really uh, groundbreaking um, thing that they that they discover in this. Um, so hopefully they come a long way with that. Um, I don't know if you guys have watched all my videos, but I, if you haven't, I would recommend watching my um, Natural Ways to Treat Schizophrenia because um, things like this that they're discovering are, there are things that, um, that people with schizophrenia, um, are lacking or needing or, um, have too much of or whatever. Like we have too much dopamine is one reason. And so things like Bacopa, um, actually lowers dopamine and has actually been, um, studied and proven to help people with schizophrenia, um, by lowering the dopamine and uh, it helps to uh, take away the positive symptoms. And I know if you guys have been watching my videos, you may know what the positive symptoms are. If not, positive symptoms um, include um, delusions and hallucinations as well as other things. Um, positive meaning um, that um, it is in addition to the normal um, psycho psychological um, brain functioning. Um, so it's not, um, negative symptoms are the takeaway. So it, it's like minus these symptoms, minus these parts of the n normal brain functioning. Um, so these are on top of, um, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. It should. Um, so yes, so these are like, th those are things that you can do to help, um, especially if you don't want to take medicine or um, if medicine is not helping enough, these are things that you can look into and trust, possibly try. Um, so yeah, um, I think that's it for today. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I think I'm going to do some more news articles tomorrow. I found a, a whole bunch on schizophrenia that have come out within the last year. And I thought that these would be really great articles um, of information that we may not know yet about um, our own diagnosis. Um, and the, you know, the coming research that they're having, uh, let's hope that there is going to be more research that is done, which I, I'm pretty sure there will be. Um, you guys have a great day. Um, stay beautiful, stay wonderful, stay amazing, stay awesome, stay unique, uh, stay you. And above all else, you guys love yourselves. Peace and love.